How's it guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's tutorial is on Grand Theft Auto 5 and how to make it look like uh, my showcase. If you haven't seen the showcase, the link will be in the description below, so check out that video. This guide will also teach you how to mod Grand Theft Auto 5 for any of your other mods that you maybe want for the game, as well as how to install the mod Natural Vision Evolved and to also make the Insane Rain mod compatible with Natural Vision Evolved. So, I think I've said enough times Natural Vision Evolved, let's go on. Now before we get started, the first thing you need to do is obviously have a clean install of Grand Theft Auto 5 and run it so that you make sure that the game actually runs fine and everything is working. And the second thing is, most of the mods, including Natural Vision Evolved, is only for the single player. So don't use this for online, you'll get kicked and you might even be banned. All the links will be in the video description. Let's get started. The first mod we need to download will be from Raised Mod. This is the Natural Vision Evolved. The second one will be the Insane Rain mod, but it won't be this one. This one is not compatible with uh, NVE. NVE is what I'm gonna call uh, Natural Vision Evolved from now on. I have a custom file on my Discord for you to download, which is compatible with uh, NVE. The next thing will be Script Hook V, as well as Open IV. Open IV is what you're going to be using to install all your mods for GTA 5 and not just NVE. Okay, to download NVE, all you have to do is go to Raised Mods. You'll end up on this page. You go down here at the bottom left. You go to Grand Theft Auto 5. Wait for it to load a bit. And then go to this one here on top. So not Natural Vision Remastered, Natural Vision Evolved. And click View. And then hit the Download button. A new tab will open up and this is the download file. I won't download this again since I have it, but keep in mind it's 8.5 gigs. The Insane Rain mod, as previously stated, this version is not compatible, but I do have a updated version for you to download on my Discord. The next file will be, this is the homepage of Scriptook V for where you can download the latest uh, version. So download Scriptook V from here and not anywhere else since this will be the latest version. Script V, if you just go down here to this section over here, here's the download link. So you'll just click on that and Script V will be downloaded. The next is also Open IV, download it from here. Just click download. This page will open up. You click download again up here and have a download. So if you downloaded all four files, you should have all four files like this. First thing we're going to do is install OpenIV. So we'll just hit on the EXE for OpenIV, click English or Russian if you're Russian, and just go through the install steps. Once OpenIV has been installed, don't start it yet. Just open up a new window and look for your game install folder. For me, it's in games, Epic Library, GTA and then just locate where the gta.exe is and from there we're going to install script 5 so we'll open up the zip go into the bin and we'll copy everything except for the native trainer if you want the native trainer you can also um, include that in and we'll just click and drag it over and script has been installed we're going to extract the natural vision evolved zip so you can't do it the normal way, which is extract all and extract. Maybe it works for you, but when I do it, an error pops up. So all we're going to do is create a new folder. Right click and go down to new and new folder and just call it NVE. Extracted. Oops. Open up the natural vision zip. And we'll just go copy all. Go back. Go to the extracted and right click and paste. Now that script 5 and OpenIV has been installed and NVE has been extracted, we can start modding the game. When you launch OpenIV, you will end up on this page. All you have to do is go down to Grand Theft Auto 5 and click Windows and tell it where the game has been installed. So we'll just go to Browse and we'll go to wherever you've installed Grand Theft Auto uh, 5 to. For me, it's obviously in um, Epic Library, GTA. 
So just click on the folder once and click select folder. Just like that and you'll see the green uh, text come up here to say it successfully uh, found the GTA EXE and click uh, continue. We'll just click continue. And OpenIV will run for a short second. Once OpenIV is open, first thing we're going to do is go to tools and go to ASI manager. Click on that. This will pop up. You should have ASI loader installed already, but if it's not, just hit the install button and let it install. After that, we're also going to install the openiv.asi file. So we'll just click install here and leave everything as is and click yes. And you'll see it's been installed. We'll close this. Next thing we're going to do is install the Natural Vision Evolved mod. So you can either click on this button over here, which is just a shortcut. What you're really doing is going into tools and clicking on package install. You see it's the same icon. We'll just click on this. Go down to where your mods are. And in your mods, find your extracted NVE folder. And then you'll come up on this one over here, the part one dot OVI. Click on that once and click open. This should pop up. You'll click install. Then choose this mods folder. Since what this is doing, it's just creating a copy of whatever files that it's um, replacing and putting it in the mods folder so that you can actually uninstall this uh, this mod and then the game will fall back to the original files which are in the game folder. So we'll click on mods and we'll click install over here and wait for it to install. Okay, once part one has been installed, it will look like this. Don't run the game, just click close and we'll go back to this little icon to install part two. We'll click on part two and click open. And we'll do the same process of clicking install, clicking the mods folder and then clicking install again. Once part two has been installed, you can now run the game. I don't think the game can run depending on where you're installing the game from. I'm using the Epic Launcher which is obviously linked to my Rockstar account. And when you try and run it, it just says error. So you have to run it from the Epic Launcher or from whatever uh, launcher that you've bought the game from. So we'll just click close, but you can run it from now. But the next step, there are optional graphic enhancements that you could choose. So we'll go back to the mods folder. In the extracted NVE file, there's a reshade uh, shader, which you can install to the game. Now, depending on the resolution that you want to play at, especially like 4K, there is an FPS drop that you could get from these optional files. As the NVE main mod, the game will run as if it's not been modded, so it's uh, on par with uh, vanilla. But to get more information, just click on the README guide that comes with the extracted files, which is this one, which goes through the steps that I've just explained as well of how to install... Um, the mod and stuff like that but it will also explain all of the optional add-ons like volumetric lights and this will be an fps drop or you know things like that so the motion blur the bright emergency lights parallax roads things like that now i will still show you how to install the reshade shaders but i uninstalled it when i saw that it was so subtle that i didn't really see a difference between the reshade on or off and the 5 to 10 FPS loss, I didn't think it was worth it. But if you want it, all you have to do is go into the file, copy everything, go to the game install folder, paste over here. I won't paste it, but uh, that's how you install the reshade. The next thing are the optional files. So there's a lot of optional files here, as you can see. Let me just close this too. So you must go through all of this and find out which ones you want. I mean, and if you go into the the README, you know, it'll explain everything. So have a read at uh, what you like and what you don't like, and then just install it. And to install it is the same process. You'll just go into this little uh, open package installer, go to the optional files, choose which one you want. For those that have a little bit slower computers or want more FPS, there's a performance boost that you can install. So you just have to click into it 
and click the install performance boost as you can see all of these files you can also uninstall at any time so you'll just click open this window pops up you just click install go to the mods and install once it's done just click close and you can go on to the next add-on we'll just do one more for this guide and the next one we'll do will be parallax roads so we'll just click on that click install open and there it should install now and once it's done go on to the next okay this is the second time i'm doing this because for some reason the recording just stopped recording and uh, i lost the section of it now to start copying files out or into here you have to click on this edit mode to activate this so if you click on this it will say do you want to start editing you say yes and now we can start copying files so the next thing is going to be the insane rain fix for nve so if you go into it there's install instructions right and it will tell you where to copy these files which is uh, these four files too as you can see i already created a backup and i'll go through it so these four files need to go somewhere in here okay and it's going to go in two different places it's going to go into this path and it's going to go into this path now i can't get it back to the original but you won't have if we go here to mods common data levels gta that's fine right so we'll go to that one common let's just put it over here data levels gta 5 and weather so here's my backup actually of it here's one and two so these were the original files that was in here as you can see it says they compress 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 and the rest is uh, compressed encrypted these are the compressed encrypted so let's just copy these over so these are the original ones but now the original ones will have the compressed encrypted like over there but because i copied it over it's changed but before you copy these files over so it's this one this one and to like select multiple ones of this you just hold control in and then click on the files that you want to uh, highlight as this th uh, thunder render drop and the thunder render ground so rainstorm render drop rainstorm render ground that and that all we're going to do is first create a backup of them so you create a backup folder and in the backup folder create folder one and folder two that just correlates to this is number one and this is number two so we'll go into number one and all we'll do is click and drag over you there will be nothing in your folder and then you'll just copy it over into here okay do that for everything and after you got your originals you can go back into the ones that i've created and you can just click and drag over sometimes you'll get this you see this you can't do anything but all you have to do is just click onto open iv again back to where the files are and click and drag over and you, you'll even see the the size changes and things like that right so that's done the next section that we're going to be copying it to is this path over here so let's just minimize this common and we'll go to mods update now you you won't have an update the update will be over here but this is the original file so we want to copy this update into the mod section so when you click on this for the first time it doesn't show for me but there will be a red bar over here so it'll be like something like this if i go here yeah you see this red bar i can copy this to the mods folder but this will come up for your updates folder and you just click copy and then you'll see it'll go over to this section so in that way you keep your original files original files and then you have your mods so you can uninstall the the mods and you won't break your game so once you go to update we'll go to update again we'll go to common data levels gta5 weather and we'll just copy these files again over i've already done that well, i mean i can do it again it doesn't matter 
So it doesn't tell you it's copied over. And if it's, it's so small files, you don't even see it copying over, right? So you must be very careful. So first in this folder here, oh, I forgot to say, just take out the raindrop and the drop ground and the thunder drop and ground and copy it over into your backup in case anything goes wrong you know then you then you have the original files and then you copy these files over once that is done we can close the edit mode and we're done with open iv so we can close this out one bonus is also to install the simple trainer so this will allow you to obviously it's like guard mode and things like that and to spawn things into the world but it's also to change the weather so you can actually check the rain or permanently leave it on a certain weather type since there's the overcast that actually looks the most realistic so if you want to play the entire game like that then you can then install this trainer otherwise play the game normally but all you have to do is download and download again open the raw file these two files are asi and the ini files we're just going to copy this out into our grand theft auto install folder as you can see, I've already installed it, yes, trainer. All we're doing is just copying it over. You won't have it there, so you have nothing to replace. It will just copy into this folder. Once that is done, we can launch the game. Okay, once we're in game, to open up the trainer, just hit the F3 button on your keyboard. And to close it, hit the F4 button. So we open it up. Okay, I just had to take a second to um, get to a better spot. So to test the rain, all you have to do is go down to rain and then click on it and then make sure that the raindrops are working and your mod is working. And obviously there's the thunder. So the most realistic uh, weather option is overcast as well as rain. But uh, so if you want to play the game permanently like this, you just keep it on overcast while using the trainer or just play the game normally with different weather effects. Because if you keep it on overcast, you won't get the rain. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this guide. If you liked what you see and you want to see more, then just uh, hit that like button and subscribe. And also, the rain mod that I uh, just changed. In the original mod, there's a heavy version, which is like the original version. And then there's a small drops version. My uh, change is for really the smaller drops version because the 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 bigger drops is just totally in your way and it's just uh too much for me but if you want the bigger drops just let me know in the comments and then i'll create a file for the bigger drops otherwise enjoy the game and have fun cheers bye bye